Division property of inequality actually has two cases that we need to look at. Case one is where we're given the value of c being greater than zero. So it works very similar to the division property of equality, only now we have an inequality which is going to kind of tweak our, our signs a little bit. So here's our example. This basically says if I'm given that A is less than B. And remember, our C value in this case is greater than zero. So it's a positive number. Then when I divide by C, the inequality sign remains the same. A over C will still be less than B over C. And now this only works again, really important that you know this is this case where c is greater than zero. Okay, so we're going to look at an example, kind of look at what this looks like. So here's our first situation, so to speak. So let's say we have a uh, solve problem. And it says, okay, well, if we have 5x is less than 25. And I want to solve for x. So first thing I'm going to look at is this value here. Is that value here is 5 greater than 0? That's our first question. And in this case, this is yes. So that means we can go ahead and use case number 1. And case number 1 just says, I go ahead and divide. And this will still go ahead and reduce out of the problem. The inequality sign will come exactly the way we see it. And 25 divided by 5 will leave me 5. So my answer will be x is less than 5. Okay. So the key to this one is that the c value has to be greater than 0. Let's try another one. Again, start off with the basic solve. We give you a problem like 4x is less than 28. And we'll go ahead and look at that c value again. So is 4 greater than 0? Yes, this works. So we can go ahead and go ahead and use this case. Exactly the same way. Divide by 4. In this case, the 4 divided by 4 will reduce to 1. The sign will remain the same. And 28 divided by 4 will become 7. Now, this case doesn't only work for less than. It could be uh, less than or equal to. It could be greater than. It could be greater than or equal to. It could be any of those signs, and they will all remain exactly the same. So let's try one slightly different, just so you can see that this works. So if I ask you to solve, and in this case I give you 7x greater than or equal to 30 Okay, again, identify that C. Is that number greater than 0? Is 7 greater than 0? Yes, that still works. So we can go ahead and use this property and say, well, let's go ahead and divide by 7. These reduce. It leaves me x. What happens to that sign? nothing it stays exactly the same and we now divide 35 divided by 7 which would give me 5 and there's our solution so as long as the c value is greater than 0 the inequality will remain exactly the way we see it